shade after two. Time's low in about two hours. You can see it's not very pretty, but that hasn't changed since the last when I saw it at 11, so it's about the same. Stand by. Well, it don't look too bad. Still got some big swells rolling on the edge here. But I'm up there by where I live, so I'm going to Ocean View where the cave is. Look around there first. I think I'm going the wrong way. You can see the beavers over here. Yep, dark beavers on the beach. I'm going to walk down to that crane. You see that crane right there? Oops, wait a minute. There's the crane right there, you see it? That's where he said he was going to walk down towards the crane. He's about another two miles this way, headed west. I don't particularly like anything I see here, especially right there. Look at that. God, they're coming this way now. See what the cave looks like. That's where I like to hunt the cave. Of course, the tide's still a little high, but I can't work in there with these waves like this. Looks like it's calm right there in that corner. I'll have to give it a try. Well, my first target, about 10 feet, is a big spoon. Got a lot of stuff on it, but I can't quite make it out of here. Damn I? My God, would you look at this. Look at that. Look right there. That's three out of four steps showing today. A lot of sand has moved here. I hope the weather don't get any worse. Can you believe it? First time in a long time we've seen them steps. You were here today though. There they are. All that sand has gone down this way, I guess. A lot of sand has been gone out of this spot. Look at that. There's one more below that one. Ah, baby. Stand by. We got action. It pulled it all down on this side of the cave. You can see it's a big, big area of sand right here. Kind of drops off right here. But there it is right there, look at it. It goes all the way out around there. You can see where that wave is kind of tucks back in like a piece of pie right there. Yeah, baby. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. Oh, my tsunami, tsunami. Go on the other side and take a peek, but I'm gonna come back and work this drop off area right here. You see, there's a lot of sand been pulled away from this little corner right here. Stand by a minute. Let's go up these fine steps right here. Let's see what's on this side of the cave. This is where that nitro ring came from the other day. I want to go, but I can't get there at all. I ain't going to go with there. I'm going to turn back around. Okay. Stand by. So far we've got this, a penny and a dime, and a piece of copper or something. Look, you target so hard, right up here in this top of this wash. And we got a nice sound here, I don't know where it is, but it's nice. One scoop deep. I see a coin, looks like a nickel. Yeah. Go 
George Washington, or Thomas Jefferson, I guess it is. Jefferson, they did this two guys mixed up a lot. Stand by. You got a loud sound, like a coin. Another 10, a 10 nigger set. I see it. See it right there? 10 nigger set. Got another nice sale right here. Nice. I mean, loud though, like a coin. Come out of there, baby. Come out of there. I see a penny, I see a nigger penny. Look at that piece of crap. Nice, dig it. This is what I was looking for. And my buddy right there next to that crane, you see? Guess where he lives. He's the one told me about the 4,600 loads of sand. <laughs> Look at that. Good God, here goes another load now, right now. The end. The living end. Pretty sure that's the guru right there by the cave. You see him walking in? He's been wearing that kind of funny looking yellow hat the last two or three times. I think that's him. He said he was coming anyway, but it may not be. It just looks like him. Rain's starting to come right now. First a little bit of rain. Uh oh, stand by. Thought we had a target. Well, we got to go home. The rain is picking up. I got the SE Pro and throw her in the truck. Off we go. About 45 minutes. We got drama. Drama at Rancho Max. When I got home, I was sitting in a recline and I heard this flapping noise. It sounded like a bird has gotten trapped in the chimney. He's he sounds like he's at the bottom of the chimney now, so I'm setting up this thing here to hold him in when I open up the, what do you call that thing, flue or whatever. We got one of them gas logs, you know, and the flue has to be closed. If not, he would have already fallen down into the fireplace. It's not on, it's just that little pot of light burner. Not hot or anything. I got Denny coming over. I'm getting him to help me hold this thing up. Maybe I can catch him and get him out of there. He's making a hell of a racket. Sometimes, if he ain't roasted in there. I know he's in there because I can hear him. Not right now, though. I could get that damn thing to work. I could crank that thing open and get him out of there. 
But that thing seems like it's jammed up or something. I can't make heads or tails out of it. It won't. It just goes a little ways and nothing happens. Stand by. Well, I got it open, but I don't see no bird. I don't think he can fly out of there. Unless he's behind this flap here. leave this closed like this for a while in case he is and then behind that flap he'll jump out. You looking for lunch? You hear him in there? She's the one maybe aware of it. She was in there almost in the fireplace trying to get him out of there but of course he was behind that plate. I don't even hear him anymore. We'll see how it goes. Big old dove. I put a little opening right there. I put that milk crate up there. Blocked it in where he couldn't get out. And I got it back. It's not a dove, it's a duck of some sort. Yeah, it's a duck of some sort. Got pretty blue wings. Stand by, I'm gonna let him out of there in a minute. He's got pretty blue wings. I don't know if he can fly or not. I guess he can. We're gonna find out. There he goes. Off to the wild blue yonder. <laughs> He's in John's yard now. 45 minutes before the rain got us. This old spoon might be one of the coolest spoons I ever found. I mean, it's, it's not anything super duper, but it is pretty cool. And I'll tell you why. On the back it says WMA -W Rogers. And then in parenthesis it says silver nickel. And that would be able to see that, but. I'll get a picture of it anyway. It's an old ticket, I think. A silver nickel spoon. That's a first for me. Look at this. What are you doing? <laughs> He's one of the guys now. One of the carnivores, I should say. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Want to say hello? Hmm? 